Yes, Mr. President. We are going virtual this year. Welcome everyone to the 87th annual St. Patrick's Day celebration, brought to you by the Ancient Order of Hibernians, Division 4, Huntington, Long Island. This is a chance for all of us who are Irish and those who wish they were, which is everybody else, to commemorate our patron saint, St. Patrick, and to celebrate our Irish heritage. And that's exactly what we're gonna do over the next half hour through music, dance, history, cooking, and fun. So come along with us. Someone who hibernates? <laughs> It is from the Latin word for land of winter, coined by the Roman historian Tacitus in 98 AD. Thank you. You're welcome. The Ancient Order of Hibernians was founded in America in 1836 to protect priests and church property from the actions of those who just weren't happy that these new emigrants from Ireland were moving into their neighborhood. Over the years, the AOH became a friendly force and welcomed the large wave of immigrants spurned on because of the oppression and famine rampant in the old sod. Blessedly, the great hunger and the days of no Irish need apply are over. Today, the Hibernians reach out to all in the community with the same spirit of friendship, unity, and Christian charity. Here now, President John Broderick Thank you, Brother Lear Leary, and a big thank you for hosting the event today. I'm John Broderick, and I am the proud president of AOH Division 4 of Huntington. By the end of this event, I'm pretty sure you'll understand why I emphasize proud. Like many of you watching today, wonderful family celebrations had to be postponed or canceled over the past year. The great tradition of this division hosting the annual Huntington St. Patrick's Day Parade has been impacted as well. We have fun celebrating in person with so many of you each year. We will miss that and hope this virtual celebration brings a smile to your face. The Grand Marshal's Ball and the Parade are our key fundraisers. They set the tone on how effectively we can execute our charitable efforts. Each year, we are able to provide scholarships to our Colleen's and to five high school SEPTAs, special education PTAs and help support a local organization that offers much needed programs for our neighbors with special needs. It also allows us to hold a number of food drives and answer the call when the food pantries are running low. We are proud of our annual Thanksgiving food drive. This past November, the brothers put on their masks and made sure we met our goals. In the end, 108 turkeys were distributed, 130 full trimming bags, as I call them, were assembled. These included cans of corn, green beans, yams, cranberry sauce, jar of gravy, a five pound bag of potatoes, and fresh apple pie. We always envision a family sitting around a table enjoying the meal. This year, while we were loading our cars for delivery to parishes and residences, a woman pulled into the parking lot. She asked if this was the community turkey drive. After we affirmed yes, and were kind of expecting an attaboy, she just looked to the ground. She had fallen on hard times and didn't know how to sign up. In less than a minute, a few brothers had a turkey and all the sides placed in her car's trunk. We saw firsthand 
the smile on a recipient's face and our hearts melted. With that said, all donations will be greatly appreciated. These causes need help now more than ever. So please consider giving. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the show. No event this year is complete without a sincere thank you to all our frontline workers. With that in mind, there is someone you should all meet. Let me turn it over to our last year's Grand Marshal, Honorable Jerry Asher, to make the introduction. Jerry. Thanks, John. Hello there, everybody. I had the honor and privilege to represent the ancient order of Hibernians as their Grand Marshal for the 2020 Huntington St. Patrick's Day Parade. Last year, we saw a great turnout and wonderful weather as we marched down Main Street into the heart of Huntington Village. 2020 also presented some challenging times for the community. We lost two prominent community members to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our friends Regis O'Neill, a former Grand Marshal, and Dr. Alfred V. Seforza. We honor their memories along with all the frontline workers and the first responders who put their lives on the line and work tirelessly every day to fight this virus under extreme and difficult conditions. The pandemic may have canceled this year's festivities, but we turn our attention to the future as we honor our next Grand Marshal, Northwell Health's President and CEO, Michael Dowling. Mr. Dowling embodies what a Grand Marshal should be through his hard work and steadfast leadership. Mr. Dowling was born and raised in Limerick, Ireland educated at Cork College in Ireland, then received his master's degree from Fordham University. He has dedicated his career to the healthcare industry, serving as the director of New York State's Health, Education, and Human Services, and as the commissioner of New York State Department of Social Services. He later served as vice president at Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield before becoming president and CEO of Northwell Health in 2002. Today, Mr. Dowling oversees 74,000 workers and $13.5 billion in revenue as the largest private employer in New York State. During this deadly pandemic, Northwell has treated over 75,000 COVID patients, more than any other health care system in the country. He is an author, and he has lectured at the Harvard School of Public Health and has received many awards for his outstanding leadership and service, including his ranking as best CEO in the healthcare industry in the nation. Mr. Dowling is a member of the Irish America Hall of Fame and former Grand Marshal of New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade in 2017. As a resident of Northport, he is one of us, a Long Islander and Huntingtonian at heart. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce our 2021 and 2022 Grand Marshal for the 87th Annual Huntington St. Patrick's Day Parade, Mr. Michael Dowling. Uh, thank you so much, Jerry, for this warm introduction. I appreciate it. And I also want to thank um, you for, and the ancient order of Hibernians for asking me to be the Grand Marshal. This is indeed uh, just a wonderful honor, and I appreciate it so much. I, like everybody else, was looking forward to walking down uh, the, the, in the middle of the town on Main Street, um, celebrating Irish heritage, celebrating the benefits of immigration to the building of the United States, um, celebrating with everybody else wearing the green. It would have been wonderful. It would have been a wonderful, great party. But unfortunately, we're at a time when that's not possible right now, and I know you all understand. So I look forward to next year when I am sure that with uh, COVID um, out of the way, we will be able to have the great party that we look forward to each and every year as we walk down um, through town celebrating uh, the heroes who protected us during COVID, all the frontline workers and everybody else who participated to make sure that we were able to protect the community uh, during this extraordinary pandemic that we are still living through. So I look forward to it. And I know that all of you look, will look forward to it as well. So be prepared. In 2022, we will have an extraordinarily important party. In the meantime, I would ask all of you to support the Ancient Order of Hibernians. They do extraordinary work, wonderful organization, committed people, 
passionate about what they do, committed to helping the community and helping the less fortunate in the community. So they need all the help you can give them. Uh, so again, I just want to thank you all. Thank you for this great privilege. 2022 will be a wonderful, wonderful celebration. Thank you so much. You are absolutely right, Michael. We are dedicating this parade to all our frontline workers. Next year will be a splendid year. We always hope and even pray that the March weather in Huntington, New York will be around 50 degrees with full sunshine. Sometimes you just can't leave it to the luck of the Irish. If there ever is a person who can speak to the heavens, it would surely be my senior Stephen Camp from the Church of St. Patrick. Here, with a few words, is the Monsignor. This year, like all things, it's a little bit unusual, and we're doing things a different way, but we're getting things done. Just like the Hibernians throughout all of this year have been getting things done. We're tremendously grateful for all of the Hibernians' work in the village of Huntington and in the township of Huntington, helping the various parishes through food drives, being there in time of need, helping their fellow members, and being present to our Huntington community. And all the things that the Hibernians do, they think of their fellow man, they think of their neighbor first. They have shown a tremendous respect for human life from conception until natural death, and they have been there to help people throughout each stage of life. We could not have been as successful this year as a parish at St. Patrick's without their help, and for that we are tremendously grateful. Again, we welcome you to our parade and we hope to continue to celebrate the gift of our Irish heritage and the gift of St. Patrick. Thank you and God bless. Hello everyone, my name is Kathleen Murphy Luby and I'm the president of the Suffolk County Police Officers Emerald Society. I just want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day and give a big shout out to our healthcare workers and first responders for the tremendous job they did this year. I have never been more proud to be part of the police family. Be well, be safe, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Stay tuned. A little later in the program, we will be announcing the winner of the trip to Ireland. Somebody's going to the old sod for free, and it could be you. So get your ticket stubs out. Make up. Here now, Star of Black Klansmen, Rescue Me, Law and Order of SVU, East Northport native, Long Island firefighter, son of Irish immigrants from Galway, Robert John, Brother Bobby Burke. Hey, this is Bobby Burke, and I just wanted to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Law Lai Padak, Son of Deef, especially to the Ancient Order of Hibernians Division 4 
in Huntington. Thank you for putting on such a great parade all these years. And this will be the best virtual parade anywhere. Mark my words. For all the work you do, keeping food pantries filled for the SEPTA academic scholarships. I would encourage everybody to support these proud Irish Americans in the work that they do. And hopefully with a little bit of luck of the Irish, we'll be all together again next year. God bless you. One of the highlights of the Grand Marshal Ball is the performance of the Petrie School. Local, national, and world medal winners are on the screen right now. Look at them go. True athletes. There's an age-old myth that the arms at the side style was because British rule, in an attempt to stamp out Irish culture, had banned dance and songs. This style, if viewed from the street through a window, appears not to violate that law. But alas, it, it would take a pretty dim soldier not to notice the bobbing up and down and smiling. Some say this dance style was a stiff rebuke to being forced to dance for Queen Elizabeth, uh, the first one. Yet others look at the church, uh, keeping young'uns from unnecessary canoodling. We should be more spiritual and uh, more serious. The most logical was the theory that dance instructors of the 18th century just preferred etiquette and found that the flailing of arms was unacceptable. For more information, contact PetrieSchool.com. And I look forward to seeing them at the 2022 Grand Marshal Ball. You know, it's interesting that many of the girls will spend less on their wedding gown than they did on their solo dress. Hey, speaking of finances... Hello, friends. People often ask me, Mr. Hood, how should my money be invested? Should I be in stocks? Should I be in bonds? Should I buy GameStop? I go, stop with such talk of skullduggery. Now, see that little QR code in the corner of your screen? Take out your phone and scan that code. Or if you prefer, jot down that text to number. Either way, you'll be taken to our tax deductible charity page. And here's another satisfied customer now. So tell me, Mr. Hood, how do I donate to the Huntington Hibernians? Hello, DJ. Oh, hi, Mom. What are the chances of you showing me how to make that delicious Irish soda bread of yours? The secret family recipe? Yeah. No, it's a secret. Come on, Mom. Oh, all right. Now that you finally got married, write it down and you can share it with your skinny wife. Okay. So first you take the flour. Uh, how much was that? Ah, uh, three or something. Cups? Well, then be sure to mix in some sugar, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. Wait, 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 H how much was that? About one, one and a half, something and a smidge. Tablespoons or tea? Uh... Put that aside. No yeast? Yeast, schmeast. In another bowl, eggs, sour cream, and buttermilk. How about caraway seeds? What do you make it, a pastrami sandwich? Mix them together and add raisins. It looks a little bit like rabbit droppings. <laughs> then, in the oven. Whoa, 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 what temperature? Till brownish. Oh yeah, this is a foolproof formula. And enjoy. How long in the oven? Till it's done. Thanks, Mom, I, I think. You know, I have never shared that secret family recipe with anyone before. Still haven't. Be a healthcare hero. We're a mess. Get Happy Day. Hello, my name is Rachel Rogers. I was the Ancient Order of Hibernians Colleen Scholarship recipient of 2018. College can intimidate a young person from coursework to campus living and the heavy financial burdens often added to the stress. The generous gift given to me by the AOH through their Colleen Scholarship helped me by relieving some of that financial strain and gave me an added peace of mind. 
The support the AOH offers young adults headed into college is unparalleled. Their help made it possible for me to pursue my dream of a physical therapy degree from Sacred Heart University. Now, if only they could help me pass biology. Thank you, AOH Division 4, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Wait, whoa, what's that? Stop. Wait, hold, hold it. Holy... Is that... Yep. Are you getting this? Yeah, shh, shh. What's he doing? He's... He's pointing. Pointing at what? Oh, he wants us to donate. Yeah. Simple. You just scan the QR code or text that number. Hi, my name is Tom Doherty, past president of the Ancient Order of Hibernians Division 4 in Huntington. I'm also the past president of the South Huntington Special Education PTA, or better known as SEPTA. <clears throat> Being the parent of a special needs child, I was 100% on board when our division wanted to form a committee to raise funds to co and collaborate with the local school district SEPTAs. Our endeavor has grown over the past several years, and we've been able to award five scholarships to our local districts, as well as a local special needs program. Our AOH scholarship is awarded to a deserving special needs student that will be entering college after graduation. This pandemic has presented challenges for all students. The special needs student, those challenges have been multiplied. The focus and attention, personal touch, just aren't there in a Zoom class. The AOH would like to con continue our tradition and reward these outstanding students. We have received such, such heartwarming letters and thank you cards from the students who have worked so hard to deserve these scholarships. Our traditional ways of raising funds just are non-existent this year, so we're asking for your help. I'd like to share a little bit more about this scholarship with you, and who better to tell you about it than a recent recipient? Here is 2020 Harborfield graduating senior, Sean Broderick. Sean, take it away. Hi, my name is Sean Broderick, and I am proud to be part of the event for the Asian Order of Hibernians. I have autism, and it was a challenge when I was younger, but I overcame it. To receive my self scholarship, which was funded by the Huntington AOH, was a major accomplishment because I completed four years of high school. When the pandemic hit and I had to adapt to virtual learning, it was a pain, but yet it wasn't as painful or stressful as in the beginning. Now I am in an extra high school year, so I can take classes and work with a job coach. Soon, I hope I can get into college with more knowledge. Thank you for listening and for supporting the AOH so they can continue to fund scholarships like mine. And happy St. Patrick's Day. Hello, I'm Bill Thies, Vice President of Suffolk County Firefighters Emerald Society. Our fraternity honors our Irish heritage and we salute the ancient order of Hibernians and the Huntington St. Patrick's Day Parade Committee for its historic and loyal dedication to the Irish Americans near and far. God willing, we'll be with you live in 2022. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hey, it looks like your glass is empty. Would you like another? What would I do with two empty glasses? I'm here to make an Irish coffee, brown sugar, Jameson or Irish whiskey. Jameson is the best, so I'm using Jameson. And mix that together. And then some regular coffee. And then some homemade heavy cream, whipped cream. Make sure that it, the whipped cream stays on top. And then we top it with, you can make it with a little shamrock or just some green color on it. And that's it. Hi everybody, I'm making a uh, authentic Irish coffee. Uh, it might be a little different than my mom's, but this is how we make it at Napper Tandy's. Uh, we get some uh, fresh, hot coffee. Um, two ways we can do it here. We can add this simple syrup, which is a chocolate mint or brown sugar. So I'm gonna do the brown sugar, because that's authentic. I mix it in. I add a fresh bottle of Jameson like an ounce and a half. And my mom always makes the homemade whipped cream, but here at Napa Tandy's, we usually do the can of whipped cream. And then you finish 
with cringy mint on top to make it look pretty, nice and Irish. Cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> They were both delicious. In the spirit of Irish unity, you are both winners. Yay! Oh. Oh. Irish coffee. Bam! There's your Irish coffee. Hi, I'm Kate Deegan. And I'm Kara McCourt with the Ladies AOH in Huntington. We're sad to miss partnering with our brothers in the AOH this year for fundraisers. And we'll miss seeing all your smiling faces along the parade route. If you'd like to find out about joining our division, scan the QR code here and send us an email. From all of us to all of you, have a happy, happy St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day. Day. Many favorite moments during our normal St. Patrick's Day weekend celebration are underscored by the music of Jerry Finley and the Cara Band. We searched YouTube for a fitting song, but if you look closely behind him, which got us to thinking, of course, about food. And we needed a corned beef recipe for our program here. So when asked, many people in Huntington said, definitely corned beef pizza from Portofino's. Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Uh, who came up with the idea? Um, that would have been one of the old owners, his, uh, John and Ralph. It's a fan favorite around Huntington. I guess it's only fitting that we have corned beef pizza because there's a marriage of cultures between the Italians and the Irish. Uh, throughout American history. It's an amazing story. Absolutely. That's the story of New York, right? Speaking of which, you know, why does why do so many Italians marry Irish? I don't know. I guess it's missionary work. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Hale Site Fire Department have a long history of marching in the AOH St. Patrick's Day Parade in Huntington. We want to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day. We can't wait to be back on the parade route. We'll see you all next year. I have a present for you from myself and the town board celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And um, so we want to present you with this proclamation signed by myself and Mr. Cupferson and Mr. Cook and Ms. Sergal and Mr. Smith. We know your virtual parade will be very successful. And we just want to thank the Huntington Ancient Order of Hibernius for all that they do throughout the year. And Lear, you also inspired me to wear a green tie. So this Italian was sporting the green today just for you and the Hibernian. So uh, we just want to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's, happy St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day. Day. Huntington. Hi, I'm Caitlin, daughter of brother Mike McCalvin. Thank you AOH for giving me this Colleen scholarship. Hi, I'm Erin, the daughter of Brother Gerard Malloy. I too am very grateful to receive the Colleen Scholarship from the AOH. Hi, it's me again. I'm back, but now I'm here for something really exciting. This is our annual trip to Ireland raffle, a tradition we've been doing for many years, and we're going to pick the winner tonight. We want to thank everybody who donated the money and took a chance on our trip. And I have two Colleens here to help me pick the winner. Erin, please stir that up. Give it a good stir. Caitlin, please pick the winner. Congratulations, you're going to the Emerald Isle. Well, we most certainly hope you enjoyed today's event and it did put a smile on your face. We'll see many of you next year at the annual Huntington St. Patrick's Day Parade, March 13th, 2022. Until then, 
keep safe and keep smiling. We'll do a close with a traditional hip hip hooray. Are you ready guys? Yeah. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip